Hi, Leak Group viewers. Welcome to the Leak.com video for July 13, 2010. The earnings season, at least, is getting off on the right foot. Uh, yesterday, Alcoa officially kicked off the season by beating expectations. And today, after the closing bell, Intel also uh, announced the better than expected results, uh, earning $2.89 billion in the latest quarter, good for about, um, good for 51 cents per share. The street had called for uh, uh, earnings of 43 cents per share, so this was a pretty substantial beat. Uh, in fact, this is the best quarterly profit for Intel since the heydays of the dot-com boom, way back in the year 2000. The better than expected start to the earnings season uh, is easing investor concern somewhat of a uh, possibility of a uh, double-day recession. But uh, make no mistake, serious headwinds still remain for the economy. Uh, we still would expect limited upside in the market, and it would not surprise us to see stocks rechallenge their recent lows. Uh, looking elsewhere, on the heels of better than expected growth in the first half of 2010, the IMF has upgraded its growth forecast for the world uh, for this year, uh, up from a 4.2% forecast made in, uh, made in April three months ago. The IMF now expects a 4.6% growth uh, in the global economy this year. However, the forecast for next year remains unchanged. Uh, the usual suspect, uh, the, the list of usual suspects of fast growers, uh, like uh, namely China, India, and Brazil, are leading the charge. The growth rates for uh, the growth forecasts for uh, all three countries were not surprisingly also upgraded. Uh, and uh, the report also continues to reflect the same divergence trend uh, between developed and developing nations that we have discussed on these videos several times. Uh, however, even as it issued its more optimistic outlook, the IMF is also urging countries to implement plans to lower deficits uh, over the next few years, uh, citing financial risks uh, threatening uh, global economic recovery. Uh, the report noted that while there is little evidence that the debt crisis in Europe has spilled over so thus far, uh, some countries are nevertheless uh, struggling with high deficits, uh, high unemployment, and constrained bank lending. Uh, all factors that could derail recovery. And uh, as if we needed more proof that the European debt woes are serious, Portugal's credit rating was cut today by Moody's. Uh, however, stock markets uh, are largely ignoring the event today uh, based on optimism generated by successful short-term debt sales in Greece and, of course, by the better-than-expected start to the earnings season in the U.S. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and join us again soon.